When storing and handling vaccines, it's critical to have proper temperature monitoring equipment and procedures to maintain the cold chain and protect patients from receiving compromised vaccines. In this short video, you'll learn about monitoring vaccine temperatures, temperature excursions, and how to use a digital data logger and log sheet. Vaccines require a temperature controlled environment until they are administered. This is known as the vaccine cold chain and includes all vaccine related equipment and procedures. Maintaining the vaccine cold chain will ensure vaccine supply potency and patient safety. Each facility should develop and maintain clearly written, detailed, and up-to-date standard operating procedures, or SOP, on vaccine storage practices. These SOPs should include instructions for monitoring vaccine storage unit temperatures and the steps to take if storage unit temperatures are outside the correct range. A vaccine coordinator should be assigned and trained on your facility's SOPs, including monitoring storage unit temperatures. It is also critical to store vaccines in the correct temperatures. Every vaccine storage unit should have a reliable temperature monitoring device to track and document vaccine temperatures. CDC recommends using a continuous temperature monitoring device called a digital data logger or DDL. Digital data loggers continuously monitor and record storage unit temperatures at preset intervals. If you receive vaccines purchased with federal funds, such as through the Vaccines for Children program, you are required to use a DDL. Staff should check and document storage unit temperatures each workday. CDC has temperature logs you can use to record your storage unit temperatures. This log should be posted on the storage unit door or as close by as possible. If your temperature monitoring device does not display minimum and maximum temperatures, then the current temperature should be checked and recorded at least twice a day at the start and end of each workday. In addition to temperatures, record the date and time the reading was taken and the name of the staff person who did it. Do this each time the temperature is recorded. If you miss a reading, leave a blank entry in the log. Missed entries should be distinguished from entries where the monitoring device failed to display a reading. Every week, review the data for changes in temperatures that might require action, such as a temperature excursion. A temperature excursion is any reading outside the temperature range recommended by the vaccine manufacturer. Routinely monitoring vaccine storage unit temperatures can help quickly identify temperature excursions, allowing you to take prompt action to prevent loss of vaccines and prevent staff from administering compromised vaccine. If you note a temperature excursion, you must take immediate action. First, label the exposed vaccines as do not use awaiting guidance, then place them in a separate container. Next, Store the labeled container at the appropriate temperature. Do not automatically discard vaccines until directed to do so. Next, contact your immunization program or the vaccine manufacturer for guidance. Finally, document the event. Give a general description of what happened, including the date and time of the excursion, the storage unit temperature, including the minimum and maximum readings if available, the length of time the unit was out of range, the inventory affected, and lastly, the guidance received. You can contact CDC at nipinfo at cdc.gov with your vaccine-related questions, including those on storage, preparation, and administration. For more information, visit CDC's website for more training and resources to support your vaccination efforts, including the Vaccine Storage and Handling Toolkit, the Pink Book, and the You Call the Shots web-based training.